So I've been called out to a boiler whereby the central heating isn't working, hot water's working fine, no central heating. So we're gonna go and have a look at that. See what happens. So there we are, there's a diverter motor there and straight away if we can see there's a little leak coming from above, which I'm gonna suspect is from the flow adapter as that's very common on this model. And let's just drain it down swap out that flow adapter and the diverter motor as well i've got both parts on the van so everyone should be happy so we're just taking out the cold pipe here obviously isolate underneath put a hot tap on just to get rid of any excess water in there then that's easy enough to take out and we'll give you access to the flow adapter That just pulls out usually quite easily, but often in little bits and pieces. On this occasion, I had to use the twin grips. These were actually really useful for this job as they can just get straight in there. No funny angles or anything. So yeah, really handy for this. Once that's pulled out, as I say, it's likely to come out in bits. You need those little white restrictors there because you don't get them with the new flow adapter whether you actually need them or not i'm not too sure but i always put them back in they're obviously there for a reason here's a new flow adapter it comes in bits basically you just need to put your two o-rings on little one on the left hand side or top which you can see and larger one on that groove in the middle and then put your two little flow restrictors in and then a nut on it So there we go we just put it together like so as you can see there's two of them just remember which way they're going like the open side in towards the flow adapter if you ever got to do this you'll see exactly what i mean I find when pushing this back into the manifold always useful to use a little bit of silicone grease or some kind of lubricant just makes it go in a little bit easier and you'll hear it almost pop again you'll do the same with the flow adapter and that will just slide in nicely and then again with the cold pipe just because you want to be able to push them right back in there and look what we found here I was very worried when that disappeared earlier and dropped down because i thought it went down that hole as things normally do but it didn't this clip can go one or two ways either first time or 1500th time i was lucky this time so there we have it that was the flow adapter had leaked down onto the divert valve very common problem for anyone who has worked with a worcester before that is very common hence the little green umbrella jacket thing um yeah, nice, easy, quick fix. Had both parts on van stock. Um, I keep both of them because they're quite common issues. So yeah, happy customer, happy me. So you're joining me on this one mid immersion swap. I come here a week ago actually, but the customer was going on holiday to a leaking immersion. I'll show you where it was leaking from. And I'm in the middle of draining it down leaking from in there as you can see and it's a 300 litre cylinder which is an absolute nightmare to drain but one we've got drain off lower than the immersion and here's my setup pumping that into d2 makes life 10 times quicker you get these pumps from plum power real life savers
plug it in the mains. Or you get a battery pack to run it off. Yeah. So I'm gonna get this changed up now because that's all rusted and everything. And then the immersion behind it, it's all the bits there. Talking of brands and helpful tools, I've got to hand it to Unilite on this. It's actually really useful. It's a K550, so yeah, that is what I'm being lighting up most of my work with of recent As you can see, that's in quite a state, all burnt out and just not very nice. It's all being replaced. So that's drained now, or it should be. as well for this kind of immersion. Just collects onto them slots and twists. They used to come with the immersion but not anymore. Here's the old one, and here's our new one going in. Let's see what's like in there. Not bad, normally they're full up with scale. That's quite clean. Pretty much all filled up there, no leaks, it's all good. Had a little couple issues with the drain off, but that's all sorted now. So there we are, there we have it. And done. That actually went a lot better than expected. Generally, immersions are an absolute pain, especially bottom entry ones. The pump is a lifesaver. Um, I get, don't use it all the time, but when I do, it absolutely gets you out of a hole. So I definitely recommend that. I think the whole set, including the battery pack, it's probably about 70 pounds. Um, well worth it and that's for the pump with the mains adapter and the battery pack adapter thing from plum power on instagram and amazon they have their own amazon shop so i'd 100 percent recommend one of them um really useful for situations like that you can just kind of sit back and let it drain itself and it drains relatively quickly 
so yeah makes life a lot easier but often them ones don't seal properly when they go back in but it did and also i was shocked at how there was no scale in that bottom of that cylinder normally it's like built up thick at the bottom and you're having to like wet back it out but no nothing at all so yeah that was all good nice easy replacement if only they were all like that so thanks for watching appreciate all your time appreciate you all thank you see you next week